Hello everyone, we would like to introduce the Chart Guys newest course, Essential Candlesticks and the patterns that they create. This is something that I, nine years into my trading journey, take for granted. I look at a chart and I can instantly subconsciously know what the candlestick shapes are telling me, the patterns that they are creating, and the market psychology that's going on behind the scenes to create those candlestick shapes. Obviously, I had to learn this at some point, and it was literally step number one of my technical analysis education journey was understanding what these candlestick shapes are telling us. So after going through this 12-hour course, you'll be able to understand why candlesticks are essential for trading success, develop your own ability to observe and react to the market trends and changes, develop an understanding of market psychology and how this phenomenon influences price action as well as a whole bunch more. I'm going to link this website in the description of this video so you can check out more information for yourself. We've got examples of the modules and we break down exactly how this course is compiled and essentially what it is is a big chunk of book learning. So it's going to break down what these patterns are telling us, two candlestick bullish patterns, three candlestick bullish patterns, two candlestick bearish patterns, so on and so forth. Some live examples of those patterns playing out and then tying it all together as to how we can use understanding these patterns to benefit our trading. My partner, Chart Guys Jason, goes through the meat of this course, breaking down all these individual patterns. I personally chime in with more abstract psychological topics of discussion, the art of observation, the psychology of a candle, and things of that nature. But we look forward to you checking this course out, and we appreciate your support as always. Have a great rest of your day. Hey everyone, checking in on the market. You can guess what I'm going to say at this point. The bulls are in bull control. So we're keeping an uptrend at this point where every single, or I should say a pattern, where every single day is a higher low from the previous day that's now six days in a row. So we're going to be looking to, when we lose that pattern, that will indicate daily consolidation is coming. But again, we have so much space to work with for the bulls right now. 261.79 was the last higher low. We know that when we lose the hourly uptrend, unless it is on significant bearish news, we're probably going to keep the daily uptrend intact on the initial consolidation. So key support short term for me is 271.88. I have not begun to scale into any hedge position at this point, but if we see another green day, and a move towards 275 tomorrow, I will make my initial bearish entry, probably playing SPXS because the price is so extended in the short term. If we were stair stepping up, I would probably choose SPY short to have some less risk, less reward, but taking a more aggressive play if it's the bulls just heading straight up to 275 from here without any daily consolidation since 261. IWM daily chart, same thing, continuation for the bulls, the hourly higher low. We actually have a nice equilibrium to be watching here of 150.160, 150.24 is our support. We've got a lower high up at 151.40, a higher low at 150.58. So an equilibrium on the hourly time frame set to break tomorrow and a break of 150.58 is a bear break and a break of 151.40 is a bull break. If we get a bear break, that's our indication daily consolidation is coming and the bulls will look to form a higher low compared to 145.37. QQQ, bulls still in full control. Lack of resistance where we currently stand until all the way up at 171.91. Higher lows every day the last five days in a row. Hourly higher low established at 169.97 to keep the bulls in full control. And if we lose that level, we will zoom out to look for healthy daily consolidation, anything above 160.99 will be a daily higher low. Financial sector bulls got a bull break of a triple top today at 26.16 or 26.17, but we didn't get much follow through after that. We opened above it, but quickly pulled back below it. The most important support level for me is 25.71 still. As long as that holds, the bulls are just fine on the daily time frame. But if that support level breaks, we zoom out on the weekly and look for weekly consolidation because that would be a loss of the daily uptrend. VIX is still weak. Lower highs and lower lows each day have to change the hourly trend in favor of the bulls. We started the morning with a bull break, but to confirm an hourly trend change, not only do we have to break the lower highs, but we need a higher low and a higher high to confirm it. So the bulls would love to be able to hold 1537 and then break 1594 tomorrow to confirm this hourly trend change. If that does occur, we zoom out to the daily and look for a daily bounce. Anything under 2042 is just a lower high on the daily chart, but that would at least shift the short-term momentum. And we are looking for consolidation on SPY and a bounce on VIX on the daily timeframes 
sometime before the end of the week. Oil is starting to see a little bit of weakness inside bar today, but tomorrow if we see a bear break of 53.28 and 53, let's see, 53.46 and 53.28, that would indicate some more consolidation on the oil daily time frame is coming, and we would then potentially see that as a little bit of a short-term catalyst for some consolidation in the markets as a whole, but bulls have a lot of space to work with compared to 51.31 support, which is the most important level to be watching so not at risk of losing that level anytime soon. Inventory report for oil tomorrow, 10.30 a.m. Eastern, worth watching. Natural gas tried to bounce today. We did get an hourly trend change with a higher low and a higher high. But the red flag here was that bull break to confirm the hourly trend change. We got five minutes of follow through. The bull break occurred on one five minute candlestick and we instantly gave that move back. That's obviously a red flag. And at this point, the bulls have to change the four hour trend. So we bounced on the four hour. It was just a lower high at 2762. Now we have a higher low at 2708. And the bulls have to break 2762 to change the four hour trend, which means a daily bounce is underway. And we'll look for a daily lower high compared to 318, the last clear daily lower high. So heading into tomorrow, we're watching for the potential loss of hourly uptrends in the, any of these markets to indicate daily healthy consolidation is coming. We're looking for VIX to change the hourly trend for the bulls. We're looking for oil to react to the inventory report and break that daily inside bar currently favoring the bears. And we're looking for natural gas to try and get follow through on this four hour bounce attempt and watch for the bulls to try and make their way to the upper 290s if we do get, or I should say the upper we'll have a target of initial target of 290 if the bulls do change that four hour trend. I appreciate you watching and we'll see you tomorrow.